this is Stephanie and I am going to be doing a client reading for um, a spread that I created. It's called um, the You Are Enough spread. It deals with um, kind of when you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and you just kind of want an encouraging word from spirit. Um, it's kind of a sweet thing, lets you know kind of where you are. Um, I do want to let you know that um, my readings currently are $5 until the end of June while I am training myself um, to do readings for other people. So I am going to be using this deck and I do not remember the name of the deck. If I can um, find it you know, when I'm editing, I'll put it in the description box, but it does um, have the meanings on it, and I've gone a step further, and I have written on them. So, these are my trainers, that's why the readings are five dollars. Um, anyway, I thought I would um, put that out there and let you know. Um, so, also, since this is a client reading, I'm not going to be sharing um, personal information. I will use like first initial. So um, this is for someone who is, um, their first initial is M. And um, she's just feeling a little overwhelmed right now. If there is um, a question that doesn't involve too many details, I will, um, I will go ahead and read the question. But for today, that's not the, the case. Um, I am going to move the camera down so that you can see the table and the cards and then I have my book here with just the, um, the spread information on it. So let's get started on that reading. Okay, so the first card I'm going to start with is um, your energy, the energy of um, the situation, which is just your current energy, whatever is currently surrounding you. Um, I like to use these archetype cards for this type of reading. Um, to show your energy, because that's basically what these are for. I really like them for that. Okay, we got two more times. Sorry if you can see my cat. She um, is loving those lights in the background. Okay, so your current energy is the vampire. Okay, so <sighs> depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency. So, um, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more like what this would mean for you currently is just literally that you are feeling depleted of energy and that you are it's kind of hitting you in a way that um, you're wanting to kind of complain more often than you usually would. Um, and um, maybe it's starting to pull down those around you a little bit. Um, I think that's the way that the vampire is um, presenting itself in that way. So just feeling depleted and kind of bringing others down with that with that feeling because it feels like maybe um, you might be putting it on to others with your um, conversations you know um, when you're having a chat with somebody and um, they're having they're going through a hard time a lot of times you can walk away from that feeling a little down so I think that that's just where your current state is now um, let's see, so let's go into how you see the situation. So how are you seeing yourself currently? Uh, 
How are you seeing yourself currently? Okay, there, um, so the, the cards that you got are um, the Two of Wands and the King of Wands, actually. So um, two Wands cards, okay? And um, you might be feeling um, kind of depleted of your energy because you are in charge of so many things. Um, you've got leadership on your back. You've got a lot to do. And I feel like with regards to that, you've got two aspects of a situation or um, maybe you're trying to make a decision um, about one thing or the other, but you've got um, two aspects of a situation. that are um, kind of at you right now. And I feel like because you are the leader and you're the one that people look to in order um, for these situations to be handled, um, I feel like it's kind of depleting your energy a little bit. It's causing you a lot of stress. Um, so that is what's going on on that end, okay? Um, now let's see what spirit sees. Okay. 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 So you've got the eight of wands in reverse, uh, the strength card and the eight of pentacles. So what spirit sees is that, um, what you're doing right now is, um, learning lessons. So you're, you're gaining knowledge. Um, let's see, and you're, it's, this is all going to pay off. Whatever kind of stress you've got going on and all of the leadership, um, the decisions, um, it's all going to pay off, um, in the long run because the eight of pentacles is like working toward a, a goal. So you're building, you're gaining knowledge and you're building up yourself, um, for, um, an ultimate really good outcome, which is showing here with your strength card, you you have a lot of strength, um, more than you know, but also um, Spirit is saying, kind of, let's have a little bit of patience with ourselves. Let's have a little bit of patience with um, our current situation and what we may be going through. Um, and the Eight of Wands in reverse is saying, slow down, kind of step back a little bit, think about whatever it is that um, this Two of Wands is representing, two aspects, okay? Slow down, take a break, don't feel so pressured to be um, always so strong maybe even. Maybe um, don't feel like you need to always um, be this person who is, um, the king of wands, you know, the king of wands type. Don't feel like you need to be the king right now. It's okay to be learning, building your knowledge. Um, you will get there. Um, maybe take a step back, relax a little bit. Um, ask spirit for help with your choices on this um, two aspects, whatever you've got going on with your um, making up your mind on something. Um, and know that your, um, your spirit team is always here with you and they are providing a lot of strength for you as well, okay? So that's something that they would like you to know. Um, so that is something that they see. Now we're gonna go to, um, I'm just gonna pull a few more cards. Okay. 
So, yeah, there's, there's more wands here. So you've got the Ace of Wands here. So this is showing that recently you have had um, new growth. So there's been a new um, passion, a new um, endeavor, something new. And of course, when there's something new, a lot of times there will be stress. Um, of course, there's you have to be the leader, you're the creator of this, whatever is new. Um, and so sometimes it will feel like you are completely depleted. Um, but that is why. So this, and it will come, it will come around, it will. Um, uh, let's see. So, right now, you need to love yourself. Look, you got the Knight of Cups. Okay. You need to show some love and patience for yourself. And, um... Just kind of be more in the present. Trust your spirit team. Know that they'll be with you. Um, take a step back, slow down. Whatever this um, decision is that you need to make. Um, take the time that you need in order to make it. Okay, you've got this. Um, you can do it. Now, this is interesting because you've got the Nine of Swords in reverse as well. Okay, and um, which means to me that you're going to be coming out of this. You're going to be coming out of this very soon. And um, the guidance on this is to just trust the mystery. So you're going to need to trust the mystery of the process. Um, trust the mystery of not knowing. It's okay not to know. And I know that sometimes when we are... Um, new to something and when we are into our passion and fire you've got all of these wands cards um, you're wanting to know all the answers and um, really get in there and get it done and um, spirits just asking you to slow down a little bit think through because what you're doing is you're depleting yourself and your energy so think through trust the mystery um, Know that with this Eight of Pentacles, you are working hard, you are gaining knowledge, and you will get to where you need to be um, if you keep going and trusting. Um, love yourself. Um, try to quiet your mind. You know, this is a lot of overwhelm, and I can feel it, um, and I can see it, so I can, I can understand um, why you would want to have this. Um, particular reading because this is literally just about knowing your strength, slowing down a little bit, trusting in spirit, trusting that you will um, you will come through on the other end of this and it will be great. Um, and to to love yourself, be patient, be a little bit more patient with yourself, okay? Um, you've got this. Whatever is new, um, you're working hard on, and you will um, you will be successful. So just trust trust that you have everything within you that you need in order to um, to be successful at this. So that's really great. Now I'm gonna pull um, a couple of cards from the universe has your back. So, you've got, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Okay? So that's really neat. That's kind of a, you know, your query. What it is that you're speaking about, being overwhelmed, and coming and looking um, and the teacher of love is spirit, okay? The, speech, the teacher of love is um, the universe. And um, you were able to look at 
your situation through the eyes of spirit, which was which is really neat. And then, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded right minded thinking and the energy of love. Okay? So, again, patience, slowing down a little bit, self-care, realizing that um, you will get through this. You have a lot of strength. Okay? And trusting spirit. You are not by yourself in this. Okay, and one more card I like to get from this deck is called the Angels of Light um, cards. Angels of Light cards. I really like this deck. Okay. You got purpose. The angels remind you that every situation or person is placed on your path with a purpose. It may be to strengthen you, strengthen you, offer you an opportunity to resolve or forgive the past, release old patterns, or for enjoyment. Your life purpose is ultimately to do that which brings you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Seeking these soul qualities will place you on the path of your destiny. Once on your life path, allow nothing and no one to deflect you from your mission. Your guidance is to ask your angel to help you find the purpose of your current situation or, if you are ready, your life mission. Align your strength and willpower and hold your intention to fulfill your purpose. The angels will support you and you will succeed. And the affirmation that goes with this card is, I am strong and determined. That is so perfect for what we were just talking about. That sums up the entire, uh, the entire reading. So your purpose, you are in it. Okay. I believe that's something that's new to you. Um, you're very fired up and excited about it. Um, still some decisions to go through and decide on. Um, but not allowing those to stress you out too much and um, deplete your energy to where you're kind of just pulling, you know, pulling the energy out of, out of everyone else or the situation. Um, trusting that you are strong, capable, and you will succeed. And the angels have your back. So when you are feeling like you are in this overwhelm, just tell yourself, I am strong and determined. So that was a beautiful reading. Thank you so much um, for letting me put this on YouTube. And um, if you have any questions, please email me. And um, I will see you later. If anybody would like a reading, I will leave all of the information below in um, the description box. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!